Hi everybody, welcome into my studio and I'm going to do a different product review for you today. I know lots of you are interested in sharpeners and how to get a really sharp point on your pastel pencils, coloured pencils, graphite pencils and I've done a review in the past on various uh, pencil sharpeners and today I'm going to look at the crank handle type because I've already got well I've got about four different types now they're all pretty much recommended so they all should be pretty good but I want to test them out for myself so the one I've been using a lot lately is this um, swordfish icon crank handle sharpener and that one goes from well it's pretty much for eight millimeter pencils so it's just standard pencils okay so I've used that for quite a while and I found it really good I saw this one um, this has been recommended M and R so it's another brand I've got, I got all these uh, first two from Amazon and this is for 8 millimeter to 11.5 millimeter and it's also apparently got uh, rubberized jaws in the um, part that holds the pencil so it protects the pencil from it and it's the only one that's got that and I've got two brand new Dermet Derwent ones so the Super Point so the old crank handle had this one sent to me for review and this is a uh, really the largest of the lot so it's quite a large one interested to try that out and then I got the super point mini so that's a cheaper version of it um, also a brand new one out as well now all my previous reviews I checked out Derwent's battery operated sharpener and a lot of these battery sharpeners basically all they are when you take them apart and have a look in there it's like a little handheld sharpener you know the plastic ones you had as a ch child they're in there and they're kind of on a battery operated rotary type of mechanism so it's basically just spinning that around your stationary pencil when it goes in and I didn't like that whatsoever it was chewing up the wood so I knew no Derwent have really looked into this and they've tried to improve with these crank handles and get a, a real nice sharp point on your pencils so let's have a look at the four types in some detail okay so it's a little bit difficult to, to film it accurately and easily but um, what I'm going to show you, I've got these rubbishy, really, really cheap pencils that I'm going to do the test with. Okay. And the reason I've chose these to start with is because when you use really expensive pencils or really good quality pencils, here's a Derwent on top, if you can see that. When you've got a good quality one, they use these really hard casings. I think they're usually cedar or, or that type of thing. And because they are hard wood, then they're easier for the machines to actually get a good point on. But these cheap ones, I think they probably use kind of a soft wood or budget wood of some form. And what you find is that unless you've got a really good sharpener, then it's going to rip and tear into this wood and it's going to look terrible like it does on these two so by using these real budget pencils the sharpening see how it's all been torn in there this one's even cheaper then it's really going to test these these sharpeners out so so as i said these these pencils are pretty much as cheap as you can get so the first one i'm going to try is the swordfish that's the one i've been using for a while and on amazon £8.50 approximately up to 8 millimeters or 8 millimeters is your pencil side and it's got an auto stop feature in there as most of them have so I'll just come around and sharpen that and see what we've got on it okay, stop there so I'll clear out and there you can see the difference now and I'll show you that compared to that um, when using a budget or sharpener that's not as good so you can see that's really good so that's the swordfish next one over I think you can still see that okay that's the M and R so let's give that a go with these silver looking pencils so this is the one that's got the the rubbery effect on the jaws inside so it doesn't leave any mark on the um, pencil 
and at the back of it it's the only one that's got a little uh, dial that you can use that will make it a sharper pencil or a blunter pencil. So let's give that one a go. Okay, so he's stopped as well. If you can see that. Excellent, superb. I'll compare the swordfish on the bottom with it. So pretty similar. You're going to get with these budget pencils, <clears throat> you get a lighter wood and a darker wood in there sometimes as well. Okay, so that MR, I saw that one at £16, so that's twice the price of the swordfish, 8mm again, but it's got that length adjuster which could be really useful. So I'll hold the camera a little bit so that we can see these uh, Derwents. I can zoom in as well. There you go. Okay, first one is a smaller one. Derwent Mini, £11 I saw that. It's got the auto stop and all those features. Okay. So I'll get that one go. Doesn't seem to be stopping really. It's just going all the way. Okay. So let's have a look, see what it's done. If you can fast focus in on there, yeah. So it's really, really sharp again. The wood looks good on there, doesn't seem to have ripped into it. And the last one, the final one, so that's the large Derwent. This is all metal, the other two was plastic, and the swordfish was metal. So it's a much bigger sharpener. doesn't seem to have an auto stop as such on it either and there you go once once again looks excellent looks really really good so there's virtually nothing between those sharpeners with that test so all these sharpeners attached to the side of the table and they've all got that type of uh, butterfly bolt screw at the bottom of it and then kind of a rubbery bottom onto the sharpeners. So I've gone as tight as I can on my wooden desk with those butterfly nuts, yeah? So the swordfish moves, you, wouldn't, you could use it one handed, but it does move a little bit. So this one then, the m and it, it does move, but it's quite firm. It's got a nice rubber base on it. The Derwent Mini, that just moves no matter what I do. It's got a rubber base on it, but the rubber is quite slippery. So you couldn't use that with one hand. And then the large Derwent has got a much better rubber base and that's the sol most solid of the lot. It wouldn't be a deciding factor for me if I was buying any of those, because all you've got to do is get a bit of rubber, something like a rubber glove, cut a small square and put it underneath so they can attach. I don't know why virtually none of these companies actually use a nice soft, rubber that really um, becomes firm but this Derwent is performing excellent for that. Now I tested them all with a graphite pencil, a Derwent graphic pencil and they gave exactly the same results to be honest with you so there's no point going through that. Nice sharp point on there, the wood was perfect on all of them. I couldn't tell any difference between those four sharpeners. So that's a good um, quality pencil and it works really well. So people are also usually interested in how these are going to perform with coloured pencils. So I've done the same test again. There, if you can just see it. And they've all performed superbly again. So the top one is the large Derwent, the second one then is the Mini, and then we got the M and R, it's a dark blue, and the yellow then is the swordfish. So they've all performed superbly on that test as well, as I would expect. Now here's a little feature that 
some of you may find useful okay so I've got this cheap pencil again and I've sharpened it as much as it will go so if I put it in the swordfish so this is looking at the auto stop now some of these have got this so-called auto stop function some they don't even mention it but you know it may be of use to some of you so I pull that all the way out and sharpen it and it's stopped it's not doing any more I can feel it's not doing any more so if I pull it out again and try it again we'll do a couple of sharpens and it's not doing any more again so it is stopping at that um, really sharp level it's not you're not going to go all the way down the pencil and work it away to nothing so let's try this one as well and that's even better it's not even um, attempting to sharpen it nothing whatsoever and you can put that in just by lifting that okay so let's try the Derwent Mini now like I said some of these they don't say that it's got it on this feature anyway so this is sharpening sharpening all the way and pull it back out and it's still sharpening and I think I could hold it firmly because it's moving so much it would sharpen the pencil away this is the Derwent Large And that's stopped. Play out again. So it's going in very, very slowly. So those two don't seem to have the auto stop on, on it. These do, but definitely the best with the auto stop is the M and R. Now, another thing people ask, I've been doing pe pastel pencils lately, and most people that work with pastel pencils you see lots of forum posts and they're asking how do you sharpen your pencils and lots that have been using pastels for years say the only way to do it or the way they recommend and the way they prefer is to use a blade and to be honest if I can possibly get away without using a blade I'd rather use a sharpener because the thing I love about pastel pencils is actually drawing them with the pastels not actually sharpening the pencils and when you're doing it with a blade and charcoal is much um, softer again I found the thing with charcoal you get it to the blade perhaps you've used spend a minute or two on it and then the final little bit of sharpening you're doing with the blade sometimes it snaps it right off and you've got to start again and it wastes a lot of pencils so this one I've just sharpened with the swordfish okay so I'll just run through these sharpeners again now with some of these pastel pencils as I said, Faber Castell. So I'll show you the swordfish working. Just to prove the point. So you go. Perfectly sharp, really quick, easy. M and R. This is the handy one with that adjustable um, point set on the sharpest point at the moment and that's just a few turns I could go a bit sharper than that if I wanted to obviously but generally I don't want pastels to be super sharp only perhaps for the final detail at the end let's have a look at this cheaper of the Derwent fine as well sharpen them a little bit more so you can see you can get a real sharp point to these and final one I'd expect this to went to perform well it's done well so far there you go super sharp how long they'll all last, I have no idea. You can't tell that until you've had them for quite a while to see if they break, see which more flimsy. But the Derwent one is pretty much all metal, including the handle and the back, so that should last well. And they sharpen well as well. The thing I like about that M&R is the fact, especially for pastels, you can alter the back very quickly so you don't get a, a um, really sharp point if you don't want one. With the others, it's a bit more guesswork, so you just gotta, you know, try it and see. But you can see that those pastels, and I've tried some other pastels, 
and they all work just as well so no point repeating that for you here but you can see it works really well with pastels with charcoal they are that much um, softer so I find then that it probably is best for doing it with a blade but I'll look at that on another review hope you've uh, enjoyed those tests and found it of use if you're going out to buy yourself a new sharpener and just to recap so the most expensive one that I found on Amazon UK that was the M&R 16 pound and that was the one don't forget that had those rubber jaws inside so it doesn't um, bite into the the wood of the pencil because some of them can have that effect although all these are fairly good but that's got that rubber in there and it's also got that mechanism on the back you can screw in so you can alter it to get a sharper pencil or a blunter pencil so that one was 16 pounds um, it's got that auto stop on there as well next it's most expensive one was the Derwent which was roughly the same around about the 15 to 16 pound it was made out of metal which is really nice it's got a, a large catch tray at the bottom it seemed to produce a really lovely sharp point and it was one that moved least when it was attached to the table so that's one I can certainly recommend now I, the only one I've used for a long time is the Swordfish and it's still going strong all of these you can just twist the back of the handle and get the crank out if you wanted to clean it so say you've got something in there that's stuck in there you can pull it out on all of these but I don't know how long sharpness the others are going to last but the swordfish has lasted quite well well superbly so far so the Derwent goes up to 8mm pencils and it seemed to work well as well nice great one the Derwent Mini you know the only thing I didn't like about it was it had a real plasticky feel to it and it moved around so much on the table didn't have the auto stop on it either but it was 11 pound so virtually you know it's hardly any difference between that one and the most expensive one so if it was me I'd go for the bigger if you if you can get hold of the Derwents and that's the type you were you know you can get hold of I'd go for the larger one rather than the smaller one perhaps it's, if it's for a child Perhaps you'd want the smaller one if you can get it a real good bargain. So that's around about £11. Cheapest one of the lot is the Swordfish, £8.50. It had the auto stop on there, created a lovely sharp point. It didn't move around too much on the table. So it's a great all rounder. £8.50, you can't go wrong, and I've been using it for quite a while. Now, so bottom of the group for me would be the Derwent Mini, just because it moves around so much on the table that'd be a real annoyance I said you could probably get away with that by putting something rubber under there um, but it does produce a sharp point all of these sharpened pastels they were sharpened colored pencils expensive colored pencils they sharpened really really cheap pencils that virtually everything else I've got rips the wood to pieces they all did a fantastic job with that the crank handle seems to be the way to go if you want a really good sharpener now I know lots of people are going to have many things to say about it. You've all got your favourite sharpeners, ones to try. Try this, try that, you always recommend to me. But I've got four there. I think they're a good range. And I know you can get some more easily in the USA and some perhaps more easily in the UK as well. But I knew that from the reviews and from what people have been telling me, I expected them all to be pretty good and they are all good. So I hope you've enjoyed that review and I'll have something new for you real soon. If you're looking for more art resources, I really think I've got you covered. I've got a brand new Patreon channel and on there every month I bring out exclusive full length videos for you and also exclusive reference photos with line art. I've got a dedicated website for tutorials, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk, lots of full length videos, some of them up to 8 hours long on there and there's also ebook tutorials as well if you'd like to read rather than see the videos. I've got a dedicated reference photo website, wildlifeart-online.com. There's over 900 images on there, all for you to use copyright free, and they all come with the Easy Trace line art as well. And don't forget, my YouTube channel is growing all the time. If you can possibly subscribe, then you know you're guaranteed not to miss out on any new videos and updates. See you all again real soon.